You like games, or at least I assume you do. And if you don't, I don't know why you clicked on this video. Anyways, because I'm an idiot, I decided to challenge myself to make a game in one day. I've done a little bit of coding, but nothing like this before. That means I will have to learn a new coding language, a whole new game making user face, articles, logic, lighting, audio, blah, 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 all this in 24 hours. Now you might be, uh, uh, okay. So this is my little guy. His name is Tim. Now Tim lives in space. Since there's not much to do up there, his favorite pastime is jumping. Tim likes to dodge objects like asteroids and little ship fragments that come at him. So yeah, I just described to you the whole concept of my game, which is definitely not related to any other game. All right, we'll get into the development now. Now that Tim's in there, I need to make him move somehow, which was significantly harder than I thought it would be, but eventually I did end up getting it to work. Now every time I hit the space bar, he jumps up a little bit. Cool, that only took me an hour. And then I tried for like another hour to make the fragments spawn right, but I couldn't get that working, so it was time to take a break. All right, break's over. It took me a while, but I finally got this to work to where these fragments come at me at a very slow speed. So let's fix that. Also right now, only one fragment spawns. So we need to make a spawner so multiple can spawn at random points. All right, so we got this code right here. Let's test it out and see if it works. Go ahead and hit play and let it load. Oh my gosh, that spawned a lot. And ChatGPT helped me a lot during this. So um, let's see what he can do. After a while, I thought I got it working, but um, then this happened. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I mean, as of now, I guess the game does technically work. I just need to fix a few things. After watching a tutorial, I got that fixed, and now it's time for the recap. So in part one of this game development journey, we got a story for the character, which I'll tell you in just a second. Two, we got the basic jumping movement, and three, we got the fragment spawner, so we actually have something to dodge. Now, I mentioned the story. This is basically just the background for the game to explain why Tim is in space. I know it doesn't really matter, but I thought it'd be fun. So Tim was just an ordinary kid, and one day he decided that he wanted to be a pilot. Except, when he got into pilot school, he realized it wasn't enough for him. He wanted to go to space. He wanted to see something bigger. And eventually, he did, except tragedy struck when he got up there. His ship exploded into a hundred different parts. And now he just sat there, stuck in space. So he needed a way to pass the time. With all those ship fragments flying everywhere, he decided he'd make a game where he'd try to dodge them and see how many he could get past. Now we have like 10 hours left and we need to get working. We need to make the point counter, the death screen, particle effects, and Whoa. audio. To do that, I basically wrote a script that connected to the text and added one to it every time that a player hit a trigger, and that trigger was in between the two fragments. Basically, if he went through the fragments, he gets a point. Let's go up. Boom! Go up again. Come on. Let's go. It works. But you can see it still doesn't do anything. If I touch the thing, I just kind of float around. I don't die, which I need to. All right, cool. The score's done, but now I need to make the death screen for when you actually get hit. So I did that real quick. It wasn't too hard. All right, so I think I have finished my very basic version of this game. And let's see how it works. Score goes up every single time I go through one of these. And then if I hit one of the things, boom, I'm dead. Oh, I can still control my character though. Gotta fix that real quick. Now it was time for audio. audio. So let me show you some of the sound effects I made. All right, let's go audio time. Ow. Ow. Watch out, there's an asteroid. Oh, God. Hmm, what else can I do? Um, let's go with like a... All right, now that we got our audio, it was time to do the particle effects. The main ones we need are the little stars in the background, as well as a jumping particle effect. And you know, originally I thought I could do this by myself and just, you know, figure it out. I was wrong. I'd say I probably spent like 30 minutes trying to figure it out on my own before I gave up and looked up a tutorial. And at this point I was starting to get worried. There was only like five hours left and I still had to do so much. I still had to make an asteroid that came and spawned at random spots and killed you whenever it hit you. And I was planning on making a whole like title screen and everything, but I don't think I'm gonna have time for that. So I started making some art for the asteroid and it is, um, yeah, it's something. I mean, for the very limited time I had, I'll take it. Now that we have this asteroid, we need to write some code for it. And I'm gonna try to explain this in the most simple way possible since I don't even really understand it. So let's start with the variables. The game object is so you can actually reference the asteroid to the script. 
The spawn rate variable is the time in between spawns. The min x and max x are basically the spawn range on the camera. And the same thing with min y and max y. The min speed and max speed is basically how slow the asteroid could randomly go or how fast the asteroid could randomly go. The next thing is the actual spawn function. Now the first line right here just sets the spawn position for the asteroid. The second one actually spawns the asteroid at that position and also plays the audio that I made earlier. The other one sets the rigid body, which basically allows the asteroid to actually have velocity and go fast or slow. And after that, after 10 seconds, each asteroid will get destroyed. Then I had to make some particles for the asteroid. So I went into Photoshop and made this little fire texture. And after messing around with particles for a while again, I figured out how to make it look pretty good. Oh, and yeah, I also did the same thing for the little jump effect. Now guess what time it is? It's another recap. In this section, we made some custom particles, did some custom audio sound effects. We also figured out the story, made the point counter, and added a death screen. Now that the game is basically over, let's clean some stuff up. As you can see, my project's a little messy. Along with that, we actually need some music for the game because right now it just sounds like this. So I went to my favorite website, Pixabay, to find the music that I needed. I searched up space and just searched. Eventually I ended up on this song, which oh, I think fits cool. the theme pretty well. It sounds pretty spacey, I guess. And after all that, I present to you, Space Game. I know the game isn't absolutely incredible, but I am pretty happy with it considering that I've never made a game before and that it was made in 24 hours. If I had some more time, I'd make a couple more obstacles, maybe a title screen, try to make the particle effects a little better, and maybe some cooler backgrounds other than just the stars, like add some planets or something. Anyway, this is just the start and I'm going to continue making games, I find this really fun and if you guys enjoy it, I'll continue making videos on it. And last of all, I plan on making a game, but it's purely based off of what you guys want me to do. So if you guys have any ideas for any games that you want to see me make, any ideas that you want put into the game, just comment it down below and I'll see what I can do. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Watch out, I see an asteroid.